you back at home may be wondering what I've been doing for the last few months in New York, pursuing my whatever. Well, fear not. I've been coming up with some other interesting ideas to, to move ahead in my life and, and one of them is turned towards the moped. I'm opening up a shop in New York City, Brooklyn. Bushwick is the proper neighborhood and we'll be selling mopeds, new ones like this here Tomos and other vintage mopeds that we will be rebuilding from scratch using some of the tools we have here at the shop. Welcome to the shop, Second Stroke Mopeds on 1022 Broadway. As we step right in, we notice that this is the showroom where we'll be having our mopeds on display. Um, we are going to build a platform in the window where we could display a couple of mopeds for the street people to see when you walk in. There'll be a couple of mopeds here along this wall. At the moment, the showroom is home to some of our merchandise of Tomos USA and other little bits and pieces like 2x4s and uh, cheat rock. Uh, along this wall, which we created with the help of my father and Poppy, uh, we'll have a counter where we could serve and have some merch back here. So let's continue off into this corner uh, where we've in installed our own uh, heavy duty display door so that customers can look into the window and see uh, the magic of mopeds being worked on and such. Here is the workshop. Uh, to our right is uh, the very popular community center where Mission 23 can come and uh, have meetings. Moving on, we have some storage bins, some old parts and tools. This here is our uh, workbench that we built ourselves. Um, and we are installing these cabinets here and under here for storage for per mechanic. So the mechanics have their own little personal space. This is our Harbor Freight parts washer that uses a water solvent to clean degrease parts. Uh, it works like a recycling sink. Uh, the degreaser in water is in the bottom and it siphons through and you can wash parts and, and it's, it's very, very cool. Here is our Harbor Freight toolbox that we, that we bought. It's categorized and separated and there's some really neat tools in here that I'm, I'm really, really proud of, like these uh, pullers that I got at Treats, you know, to basically service uh, the flywheel to many, 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 many vintage mopeds, amongst little odds and ends that are mo very moped specific. I will skip over here to our sand blaster, which is a, a one of our larger tools, uh, next level kind of stuff. Um, uh, we're placing an item inside the cabinet and using gloves uh, and a sand blasting inside the cabinet. We can recycle the sand and not waste it. Kind of dark on that, but. Um, with these gloves, you can take your product in your uh, in your gun and and basically sandblast uh, the paint off of small parts like this here uh, headlight fixture um, that used to be black and now we powder coat it down to the metal where or, or sandblast it down to the metal where we could go ahead and powder coat this or spray paint this or do whatever we want so we get a very brand new looking vintage item. Have our air compressor, which um, we are going to upgrade soon because the sand blaster certainly takes a lot of volume, and um, this one really can't hold it up. But soon we'll be getting a bigger compressor. This one's a 20 gallon; it's pretty great. But uh, we're upgrading. So to conclude this video expose of second stroke mopeds. Um, Hope you come down soon and visit us and see our shop either in progress or when we're open in the springtime. Um, thanks for your support and uh, hope to see you down here soon.